Recently, the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department received some new equipment that can help our pets during a fire. Everyone knows our pets are more than just pets, they're part of our family. And while you may know how to get out of a house during a fire, pets don't always know how to get out. But you should never go back into a house fire. I'm here with Battalion Chief James Garrett to talk about the new pet oxygen mask. What should we do if we have a fire and our pets inside the house? Well, it's easy for us to stand here and say, do not go back in the house. But as you said, pets are a part of our family. And so we have had instances where people re-enter the house in order to get their pet. We have rescuers that are there on scene that are trained in order to do that. So we suggest that you allow us to do that. And with these new masks that we have here, then it's, uh, we just have another tool in order to aid with that process. Well, how come a human mask doesn't work? How does a dog mask different than the human mask? Well, there, these masks are made specifically to fit over the snout of a dog or cat. We have different sizes, and they're connected to a hose that is connected to an oxygen tank. And so that allows us to get them more oxygen flow through that mask, and the instances of survivability are a lot better with that. How many stations currently have the masks? At this point in time, we have two stations that have the masks. There's Station 14 up north at uh, uh, North Brighton and uh, 152 Highway. And then, of course, there's uh, Station 17 that's right there at 34th and Macelle. So where did the funding for these masks come from? Initially, uh, a company, Invisible Fence, uh, came up with some funding from an uh, ex-wife of a, uh, a firefighter who is no longer with us and uh, began to donate to the stations. Uh, right now, it, we see how valuable a tool it is, so we'd like to keep that process going. Great. Thank you so much for showing us this great equipment. It's, it's really exciting to see this great equipment come and be able to help our pets. Well, thank you, Colin, for coming by.